Namaste, I am Pratibhakini. Welcome back to my channel. Do you find it difficult to balance on your toes while doing Kudittu Mettadavu? Is Yagaru Mettu a tiresome task for you? Then this video will make it enjoyable and leaves you asking for more. Few common difficulties I have come across while practicing and while teaching Kudittu Mettu to my students are 1. They can't hold the jump in Aramandi and tend to bounce back due to weak glutes, hamstrings, quads, calf and ankles. In general, leg muscles. 2. They lack balance. I have already made a video for leg strengthening and balancing. If you haven't watched them yet, go check them out right away. Our feet are our foundation and if the foundation is not strong, it could lead to knee, hip and lower back pain and of course poor Kudittu Mettu among dancers. Today I have a follow along routine to strengthen our ankles and feet. Do subscribe to my channel for some useful videos. Like always I will be sharing a useful tip. So be sure to watch till the very end. Like always we will be doing 10 exercises for 40 seconds each and take 10 to 15 seconds break in between exercises. That's when I will explain the next exercise. You can catch your breath and sip water if necessary during that time. Let's get started. First exercise is ankle rotation. Sit down on the chair or floor. Start by turning your right ankle around in clockwise direction. Let's begin. Switch to anti-clockwise direction. Let's do the same on the left leg. Rotate clockwise. Switch to anti-clockwise direction. Next exercise in 3, 2, 1. Jump to the right on your toes as you do in Kudittu Mettu. Jump back to the center with a flat foot. Alternate sides. Let's begin. Make sure you are in Aramandi throughout. Keep your back straight and core tight. Next exercise in 3, 2, 1. Stand with feet wider than shoulder width. Turn your toes out, raise your heels and drop them down while squatting. Let's begin. Try to stay as low in the squat as you can the whole time. Make sure to balance on the balls of your feet. Next 
Next exercise in three, two, one. Stand on one leg, bounce off the floor, jump from one side to another. Let's begin. Switch leg in three, two, one. Next exercise in three, two, one. Stand in Aramandi, come on to your toes one by one and drop them. Let's begin. Continue to do this in Aramandi. The intention is to alternate weight distribution on each ankle. Next exercise in three, two, one. Come into a low lunge, gripping hands on the floor. Come on to your toes and move back and forth. Let's begin. Make sure to place the complete heel when you go back. That way, you really stretch your ankle. Do the same on the left. Next exercise in three, two, one. Kneel down and come into a squat position without lifting your feet off the floor. Let's begin. The idea is to train your ankle to take the weight of your body. Make sure you do not bang your knees on the floor. If this isn't possible, you could lift your foot as you transition to a squat or take hand support. Next exercise in three, two, one. Balancing on a single ankle, place objects in all directions and collect it back. Let's begin.
switch leg and repeat on the left. Next exercise in 3, 2, 1. Sit on a chair with knees bent, pivot the heel and grab the towel using toes by moving only the ankle. Let's begin. Choose a thicker towel to make it tough. Make sure to not raise your heel off the floor. Switch sides. You could pause the video here and do this for one minute on each side. Next exercise in 3, 2, 1. Sit on a chair with your legs out in front of you. Draw letters of the alphabet with your toes by moving only the ankle. Once you draw A to Z with right, repeat on the other foot. Do it at your own pace. Make sure you do not move the entire leg. Idea is to move the ankle in all the possible directions. We have already discussed some exercises such as warrior three pose, leg swings, walking on the toes, heel and toe raises which are extremely effective. I just did not want to repeat them and thought of giving you some new content in this video. But I recommend that you perform those as well to strengthen your ankles. I have mentioned the video links in the description box below. Do check them out. While doing this video, I figured out we care so less about smaller body parts like our ankles that affect our performance largely. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know in the comments which exercise you enjoyed the most. I personally enjoyed the ankle alphabet. It was so much fun drawing with toes. Time for the tip. I was watching a performance and it gave me a feeling that someone forced this dancer to get onto the stage and she wasn't enjoying herself at all. That's not the impression you want to give your audience. What I'm trying to say is smile while dancing. I'm sure your teacher has told you this a zillion times. Smiling is an involuntary response to things that bring you joy. It can be just as much a voluntary response as a conscious choice. If you smile when you're dancing, People get the feeling that you love what you're doing and I assume all of you love to dance. So let it show. Smiling not only helps to prevent us from looking tired, worn down and overwhelmed but can actually help reduce stress. Haven't you heard of people saying she lit up the room with her smile? While it is certainly a beautiful sentiment, it carries a hint of truth. Smiling not only offers a mood boost but helps our bodies release cortisol, serotonin and endorphin hormones that provide numerous health benefits including reduced blood pressure, reduced pain and so on. Next time your legs ache while doing kudittumettu, you know what to do. Smiling is contagious. Why not pass it on to the people who watch you dance? I will end this video on that note. 
give me a thumbs up and click that like button if you think this was helpful and share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post some super useful content every Saturday at 7pm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.